All right, people, welcome back. More Fake Card Friday. So this fake card was actually sent to me by our judge in charge, the guy who always gives us the rulings all the time, where Daniel will say something incorrect, and then he will comment in the comment section and correct Daniel because Daniel's a fucking idiot. Don't trust Daniel. He's not a judge. Our good old friend who is rep and gone, but still here with us doing Network 100. All right. So... Uh, lately, you guys have just been sending me fake cards. It's like, here's a fake card. There's a fake card. Here's a fake card. Let's get to the point where I don't even need to search for them anymore. You guys send it to me, so thank you for doing, like, half my job. Because, you know, I used to have to actually, like, look on the, the card-making forms and be like, oh, wow, this card's fucking stupid, or this card's not even interesting, or this card doesn't even have a card art. But no, you guys have just been sending it in, and... Uh, I only do one per week, so you guys send them quicker than once per week. That means I don't really have to do any research, which is fantastic for me. Anyway, uh, we're going to be looking at dueling Network 100's card here. So, he decided to make a Gladiator Beast card. Now, I believe we're getting some new Gladiator Monsters coming soon. You know, I watched me some of that Arc V, and we saw, like, three new months. We, we, we saw a lot. We saw a lot of new cards. So, if they go ahead and take that from the anime, make it so Glad's will... Uh, probably get some new support, so congratulations to them. But uh, Dueling Network 100 decided to go ahead and make this fake card, so we're going to look at it, determine how broken it is. I mean, I'm a Gladiator Beast expert. I played it on Daily Duels for exactly one month, or well, actually a little bit over a month. So, super expert, fucking, fucking topping, all right? Fucking whoever won with Worlds, like, replace them with me, because that's how good I'm going to be. All right, stop. But seriously, uh, I know a little bit. I know that Gladiator is the shit, and... Uh, one and after your opponent and playing card demise is fun. So uh, let's go with Gladiator Beast Tetra. It is a dark level 9 Beast Warrior fusion effect monster. 2400 attack, 1500 defense. Stats are kind of low for level 9. I must say that. Like, that seems like the stats of a level 7, if I would say so myself. Like, really? Really? 24, 15? Yeah, that's low for uh, level 9. But, uh, We'll see how good it is. So it's huge materials are two or more Gladiator Beast Monsters. Any two. Alright, that that's simple. Just go ahead and contact. So but this kind of put like like uh the wheelchair one out of the job. I forgot his name, but he's in a wheelchair because he doesn't have an effect, which means he doesn't tag out because he's handicapped, because okay, I'll stop, I'll stop. Alright. But uh I mean this card really exists. That pretty much put him out of the job. I mean his stats I believe are a little bit higher than the one in the wheelchair is 2,500, but this guy has an effect, so, I mean, his effect can't be worse than nothing, right? So, let's go ahead and look at it. So, must be social summoned from your extra deck by shuffling the above cards you control to the deck you do not use poly. Shock, alright, so pretty much, Gladiator Beast style. Just take two Gladiator Bees and contact them, two or more Gladiator Bees. Uh, like you could do more, but, you know, you know, remember, you're nagging on your play, so you might want to try to lean towards two, unless there's a part of the fact that totally, uh, would benefit from more. Uh, this card gains 300 pack and defense for each of the fusion materials used to fusion summon this card. Never mind, he's fine, he's fine at level 9. I was like, he's kind of weak at level 9, it's 300, but with that additional, you know, just using two, he gains 600, that's 3,000. Like, never mind, you're at the attack barrier, sir. Any more than that, you should get, forget it, you know? We could potentially go up to, what, 3,900? Like, all right, all right, wow. That's pretty strong. Uh, if this card was special summoned using three or more monsters, this card's unaffected by your opponent's card uh, effects. So you're kind of like uh, Saber? Saber? I think Saber, it's like, it can't be destroyed by card effects, by battle by card effects, I want to say. Something like that, Saber. Uh, the Fluffle one. The Fluffle one, where you, you use three or more materials, like you can turn into the wheels. So this card just becomes unaffected by your opponent's card effect if you use three or more. I mean, that's pretty easy. And to bust this guy out who's potentially 3,300 and unaffected by card effects, you know, it's, it's just one of those. This card definitely is one of those times where you look at it and you're like, thank Christ for Utopia the Lightning, because this card would be broken as fuck if there's no Utopia the Lightning. You'd just be like, alright, 3,300, I'm unaffected by card effects. You got a kaiju? <laughs> you main deck in kaijus? Um. Next effect. Monsters in your opponent's possession cannot activate their effects during the battle phase. So, just in case you think you were gonna, you know, activate a monster effect and, and stop uh, the glads, nah, nah, they're, they're gonna. And I like how it says card in your opponent's possession. I mean, of course, the wording is all proper. I mean, it's, it's still in that work 100. The, the, I don't even have to worry about the card decks. Like, you already know, it's pristine. This is this is definitely that uh, the new age type. And your presence possession, so they can activate, you know, cards in their hand. They can activate monster effects uh, that flip or in the grave to float. Nothing, you know, no monsters in your opponent's possession can activate 
their effects during the battle phase. Okay, so that's interesting. So cards in your opponent's possession means that they they own it. Like it's theirs. They it's in their position. It's their possession. It's different from the cards they control. So what if you happen to take one of your opponent's monsters and then in your battle phase, you know, in the battle phase, the you control the card. You know, like for example, if I snatch steal your opponent, my opponent's monster, I control the card. But it's still in their possession, right? It's still theirs, right? I don't know. I don't know. Maybe, maybe I'm looking I'm looking weird into this, but it just seems like it, would that monster affect me to get it even though I control it, but it's still in my opponent's possession? Because anything that would go back to an opponent, right? Like like the Madoche monsters, like it's still in their possession. I don't know. I don't know. I don't know. Maybe I'm thinking way too much into this, but this card's not done. It's it's still not done. So so many effects. This card's broken. Like we we haven't even got we're like halfway through its effect, and this card's already looking like it existed. It just be like wow. All right. Um, once per turn during either player's turn, when a card or effect is activated, you can negate that effect. And if you do destroy it, then send one gladiator beast monster from your deck to your graveyard. And if you do, this card gains attack equal to the attack uh, sent monsters attack. All right. Awesome. So. Literally, for how simple this is, just two Gladiator Beast monsters, you get a, a 3,000 leader who negates monster effects during the battle phase and has a Solemn esque effect. Like, come on, come on. This is it's too easy. It's too easy. Like, you're pretty much saying, you know, fuck the, the, the wheelchair one. You're kind of saying, fuck Heraclinos, too. I mean, all this thing needs to do is summon these fucking Gazaris, and it's perfect, right? During. Your opponent's turn, if this card you control is removed from the field, period, it's removed from the field, you know, as long as you don't get snatched up with the material, you turn to the extra deck, it's removed from the field, you get banished, it's removed from the field, you know, as long as it's during your opponent's turn, removed from the field, you can special summon a number of Gladiator Beast monsters from your hand or extra deck, except for Gladiator Beast Tetra, whose total levels are less than or equal to this card's level, uh, have been on the field, ignoring the summon condition. Ah, and there it was, the card that summons fucking Gazarus. <laughs> so... Yeah, you, you, you pretty much would never, ever, 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 ever summon any other uh, contact use in the other Gallery of Beast region. You would always just have two Gallery Beasts contacting this, and then this would do all the jobs, and then maybe this would summon others, but it would always be this first. This is the fact that it's going to go to a 3,000 attack monster who's going to negate shit by sending Gladiator Be a Gladiator Beast monster from your deck to your girl, which just even promotes more playing of Call of the Haunted, which I already played in my card of my experiment, uh, and gaining more attack. Negating the monster effects during the battle phase, and when it's removed from the field by your opponent, which they have to be careful that they don't do that, then you get to go ahead and summon a Gazarus from your archer deck and then pop, pop. Just, all right, all right, calm, calm down, though. Dueling Network 100, man, I go, you're supposed to be the fucking calm one. You're supposed to be the content one, the natural one. What are you going crazy with this card? This card is broken. Like, hell no. Oh my god, so, I mean, he, this guy he puts a lot of, pretty much every guy that he's using out of the job. Like, if you're getting summoned from him, then you're probably going to get summoned through his his effect, that uh, during your opponent's turn when this card is moving field. But you're probably not going to contact him to anything else. Maybe that situation of Gazarius where you want to pop in here and now, but, I mean, come on, this guy is just so fucking good. Like, wow, wow, you made this card ridiculously good for how easy it is. Like, come on, it's just two gladiator beasts. Like, you could do more. But you can just do two, and he'll still just be a 3,000 monster who negates monster, your opponent's monster effects during the battle phase. Not during your battle, during the battle phase, period. And, of course, he has a negating effect because fucking it's totally awesome to have fucking uh, infinity-esque fucking effects and just negate everything these days. Just everything has to have it, right? I'm done. I'm done. So, tell me what you guys think about this fake card in the comments below. So... Uh, thank you, Dueling Network 100, for sending me this fake card. I, uh, <laughs> you guys be making some broken shit, but hey, I mean, that's just the whole point of Fake Card Friday, is to have fun with it. You know, as long as Konami never makes your fucking fake cards, then we'll be okay. And by okay, I mean relatively okay, because Konami makes stupid shit that actually exists, alright? But at least y'all, y'all, you can't make crazy shit until the cows come home, but unless you start working for Konami and they actually, you know, hire you to create cards and work on the R&D department, it's never going to happen. It's never going to happen. So, I hope that you guys enjoyed this fake card Friday. Uh, tell me what you guys think about Gladiator Beast Tetra in the comment section below. We'll, of course, be back next Friday with another fake card to look at so many fake cards. You guys are just sending me so many that, like I said, I don't even need to search anymore. You guys just send me them. So, 
Cool. So that, that tells you that it's a little bit more personal than just, you know, random fake card maker. I'm reviewing your card. You probably don't even know because I'm not big in the community. Instead, you guys deliberately sent it to me. And then when you see that uh, video in your feed and you're like, oh, shit, what did, what did he say? So, anyway, thanks for watching. Thanks for the support. And I will see you guys next Friday on another fake card again.